Sorry, everybody. I know this is not the <clears throat> best angle, but I'm tethered over here because my phone's about to die. I've got it plugged in. <laughs> Uh, this is Gadget and Custard, and for the last several minutes, Gadget has been making her little play noises, little, you know, noises that she makes, like, when she wants to play with a mo uh, her kid, like, the brr, noises, uh, at him, and trying to sort of reach up there and try to get him to play, but then, just before I started filming, she went, like, all in and tried to jump up, and, uh, he got mad, so... Now I think she's trying to apologize and be like, no, I'm just trying to play. See, it's play. And he, you can tell from his body language, he is not having it. <laughs> <clears throat> she's very aware of him up there. And uh, I think he's going to come down and probably try to smack her or something. We'll see. Custard, be good now. She's friendly. Maybe he's just trying to figure out how to get off the tree without... Uh, without having her decide to go after him. <clears throat> this is like in a, in a strategy game where uh, um, when you try to move away from a unit and they get a free hit on you, you know? He's trying to figure out how to get past her without uh, her getting a free smack. I'm trying to think of what they call that in Dungeons and Dragons now, but it's just not coming to me for some reason. Uh, opportunity. An opportunity attack, I think, is what they call that. Makes too much sense. Buddy, you can do it, buddy. She might chase you, but she's not going to do anything. It's okay, Custard. It's okay, buddy. Oh, all right. She's like, don't hit me. All right, buddy. Well, let me go over there and give him a hug. This is his room after all. Funny how much she reacted to that after trying so hard to get him to play, but I think she can tell from his body language that he's not playing. She's like, I'm in your bed. Costume's headbutting me. Hi, buddy. He's having his lap time. Now that I left Crank and Teaspoon together in the spa, which is fine, but both of them lately have been having a habit of peeing in the wrong places. For her, it's a little more understandable. Tomorrow's Teaspoon's big vet appointment. I'm so excited. But I say it's the big one. It's just, you know, like I said uh, during mailbag, it's his cardiology uh, checkup. But I'm hoping, like last time, I was hoping, and it didn't, but I'm hoping this time it leads to his cardiology surgery. And that it changes his life. We'll see. Buddy. Say hi, everybody. They don't get to see you often enough. Say hi. He spends so much time in the office helping me. Yeah, you're a good office buddy. He's also been very shetty. All right, watch your ears. This is going to be loud, but we should try to clean him up a little bit.
you're so silly, you gotta start. I kind of spooked her. She's like, what is happening? She had to get up, walk around once. Okay. I know, I know, just custard things. But I'm still stuck here, my phone's not nearly charged. You don't have to stop eating, buddy. You got a big day tomorrow. You get to see all the vets tomorrow. I just made him an appointment to see his regular vet tomorrow after the cardiologist because DJ thinks maybe he's got a urinary tract infection. So. Good times. Yes, that sound is your mother at the door. She wants to come in here. Teaspoon's not a big fan of her. I just gave her a little wash, just a just a little bit of a bath because she had such a poopy butt. And I thought it would be nice to clean it up for her. And she hates using the wipes. So she didn't enjoy the bath very much either. But I don't know if it would have come off with a wipe. Cute little cranky. She's all wrapped up. Aw, so cute. You look just like a baby teaspoon. Are you ready to go? Okay, we should take you out of here. Oh, you look just like a baby teaspoon. Because you are. You kids can hardly walk. Are you sure you're ready to try to get all the way down there?
Mm -hmm, smart, you know. All right, kids, come here. Oh, buddy, you're not my real Stetson. I'm not your real stepfather.